Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews here, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. With the ill behavior. Ooh, I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? Oh, Mike, I took a trip over to Auburn, New York, and know what I found? I found a sweet old brewery, Prison City Brewing, Mm. and this is their Double Dry Hopped Riot in Vermont. So this is Double Dry Hopped with Citra and Mosaic Hops. They're fermented with Vermont L yeast. Hey, you gotta and, ferment things with Vermont L yeast. Yeah, That's just crazy if you don't. Fuck. People go crazy for those Vermont yeasts. Oh, uh, those Vermont yeast. This comes in at 7.2 ABV. And if I had a canned on date, I would tell you. But you know what? I can tell you this is fresh. Wanna well, know why? Because I was at the brewery. And I was told that. <laughs> I think it's I think it's canned on five twenty seven twenty one. Okay, where where'd you see that? It's like right there. Oh yeah, yeah I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't to. Yeah, I like uh, fucking Andy Dufresne so, in a shit pipe. All right, what do we got? <laughs> uh, backstory of this is yeah. Basically, they have they're famous for they got famous they won a gold medal for their. All right. Double, or for the riot, mass riot, and it's their IPA. Uh, so they work. basically this is a, a variant, I guess. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Uh full Love the label. Yeah, full transparency. I've had this thing before on tap. I I'm gonna be it. fully transparent as well. I have not. Okay. Uh, head on tap, head taster. Uh the bartender, Frank, hell of a dude. Sounds like uh, a good he, guy. He, yeah, no, he is very helpful. Yeah, a bit Helps on the shady out. side, I believe, but Pick, you know, <laughs> picks up to now. I think he's <laughs> in the cat fighting ring. I, I think he's <laughs> fighting cats. Like, oh, fight! I don't like him already. Oh boy. Okay, that is pouring pretty. It's light, light orange juice. What happened to your head? And look at mine. I didn't pour as aggressive. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I've got like. It's it's a light kind of thick soap sudsy bubbles on here. Uh, it's a light juicy, juicy look to it. Oh, our, wow, our beers actually kind of look similar at this. Yeah, point. actually. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it, <laughs> All right. So this is like I can see my hand through it a little bit. So it it's a it's haze, but it's not as opaque as your tr- like traditional hazy IPA. I would say. Yeah, I, I think it's got a lager color to it. I think this is more of an American IPA, but still classified as New England. American. All right. Sudsy. Um, yeah, very Rocky. sudsy head to it. All right, let's get it's a whiff on it because I've never gotten a whiff on this before. Not at all while you were talking. We're paying well, let's get a virgin and... whiff together. All yeah. right, let's do it. Ooh, that smells... Uh... Uh, faint scent of... Fate scent of hit citrus. Oh, fuck sakes. <laughs> We've had a few pops. Is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, it smells pretty, pretty, pretty good. And there goes Dan. It's uh, it's very cold. It smells cold. Uh, it smells very pale alley and lagery. Oh. I dropped out. Oh, hey, no. welcome back. We're going to keep recording. Maybe you, know you had an Android phone. We're good. Oh, son good. of a bitch. <laughs> oh, uh, so it I was smells... about to say, we're feeling pretty, pretty, pretty good. I kept it going. Don't worry. Right, um, it smells, I was just saying, it smells very cold, very like uh, pale alley and lagery. Okay. Um, I'm getting I'm getting the citron mosaic on there, but it's I think it's kind of subdued a little bit. I don't know if it needs to warm a touch. I'm getting some pine. Up. I'm getting like a pineapple on it. Okay. Really? Yeah, a little bit of pineapple. A little, uh, a little bit of tropical. I'm getting no earthiness, but okay. I think mine might just be cold. I mean, mine's cold too. Is it? It is. Hmm. Okay. All right. I yeah. didn't. I didn't. I didn't put it in the usual storeroom. So yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's taste it. Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. And welcome my phone back. Shuts off again. Mm. 
Ooh. It's got a um, it's got it's got a it's a it's a pungent citrus. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's uh, it's not very uh, subtle. It just kind of hits you. There's a there's a candied kind of sweetness to it. It's got like a candied uh, marmalade, like a a peach or an orange marmalade. Just a, a yeah, marmalade it. kind of a jam to it. Um, yeah, that I think that pineapple's still there. Uh, but yeah, it's it, think of all the the candy like jammy, candy. just marmalade, just that kind of. Uh, trying to think. No, no, I get what you're saying. It's this is bad. Like, it, like an orange it. syrup, syrupy. When you come across a beer that has more of a, a syrupy sweet taste to it, is that more of a a turnoff as opposed to a no, beer that I'm, has a natural fruit flavor to it? To me, this is I enjoy this. I like okay. it because it's it's got that candied kind of vibe to it rather than a fresh fruit. It, it's different. It's okay. not it's not your typical fresh fruit with some bitter kind of hazy it's you got mm -hmm. a, a refined fruit uh oh an up, upper class refined fruit to it hey listen, it's been educated I, i'm not here to only the finest of fruits i'm schools. not trying to discriminate uh not either. i want to talk about that pungent that's that's that vermont yeast i i i was gonna say is that the yeast yeah. is that what that and is okay it's like that pungent danky Jim Saki, but, but it's not the it's not the dank hop aspect. It's the dank yeast. I mean, you, as, do, you get the it's hops, too, but that that yeast, it's got a little sourness to it. Oh, you are right. You know what I mean? Uh, I agree you with you. Have, You're right. You have a slight a slight tart sourness to go along with that that candy type of flavor. Mm -hmm. and when I say candied, I I don't want people to think this is like sweet or overbearingly sweet. It's a touch no, sweet, it's but it's not. It's not that. It's just uh, like a like a peach jam. Like I recently picked up, we picked up some uh, pepper jelly, but it's a it's a mm -hmm. it's a raspberry pepper jelly. Okay. And they had a peach pepper jelly, and I would imagine that's what a sort of be like. Okay. Not spicy. Um. But yeah, that. A little bit of sourness. Kind of breaks Just up. Just touch. I think uh, it drinks crisp. Very crisp. It does. It. I was just going to say it drinks a little more crisp than I thought it was going to. For, crisp uh, like a lager almost. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's it's not giving me the normal New England IPA traits that I'm used to, and I'm I'm guessing that's because it's double dry hopped. So it's maybe bringing a little more of the crisp aspect to it. Uh, it's not as hazy. You, you know, you can see, I can see my shadows and my fingers through it. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm liking this. I, do I you like ever, what like, it's doing. Do you ever uh, grow up and, like, my grandmother had this crystal, like, candy dish. It was like a, almost like an egg shape. Pull the top mm -hmm. off. And she had those little Russell and Stover candies. Like yeah, the textured, yep. you know what I mean? It's got the like yeah, the yeah, flat yeah. ring and like the texture. But mm -hmm. they had an orange one. Okay. Yep. Oh, and it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's this what is I'm grandma's sorry. candy beer. <laughs> if you ever want to hunker down under an Afghan mm -hmm. and watch a 1947 Yankees game, this might be the beer for you. So the bitterness? Is a more of an earthy resinous than like a, a pine, I want to say. Uh, okay, I'm definitely getting like the, the pine aspect to it. Like it was. Well, I mean, there, there is a pine, but <sighs> to me, it gets a little dirty. Okay. Man, it smells clean. Huh. Very cold. It smells clean. Like you don't, but it's that better when you drink it. 
Yeah. And it lingers. Mm -hmm. Honestly, dude, I'm getting fucking vibes of that 2017 uh, Dogfish 120 minute, the whole marmalade aspect. That's what I get vibes of. Dude, that's a whole other thing we just opened this year, and that's Dude, I, not anything yeah, like this beer. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, but, okay, you had it, though. I but did. <laughs> it, it, it turned into, like, a, a barley wine, but it had that marmalade aspect. Did this you get that is, on that beer? Um, yeah, and this is just a – I get what you're saying. It's getting there. It's not quite there yet. It's a little too cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, obviously. It's a little too crisp. It's a little too crisp. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. As this warms up, I bet this is this might do get, some weird things when it warms up. Get a little sweeter, like uh, man, sweet like jelly beans. Dan, what do you uh, if you had to give a, a numerical rating to this? What would you say? Four, three. I'm gonna go an even four. Really? Yeah. What don't you like? I don't know. What don't you like? Don't be afraid. I'm not as scared of anything. I just don't know. It's okay. It's, okay. It, 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 it's if you do it for me. Okay. It's it's. I think I would like it if it was a little, little hazier. Uh, just a touch creamier. See, I think um, you're looking for the wrong beer. You're looking for so. a, a traditional I, New England. I'm looking for the traditional New England. And or I don't a new know school if I can New afford... England. Because you know what? I think this is a traditional New England. I, I think, think so. this is what the New the England started out as. I think this is what it started out as. And then it morphed into Treehouse, Other Half, uh, Monkish, you know. Oh, I think I morphed into that. That's oh, well, in I that think case, I'm is... giving it. In that case, I'm giving it a six point one. Honestly, this reminds me a lot of like a Hedy's Hopper, a Folka Banger, that type of vibe to it. Okay, I'm giving it a six point one. See, I, you know what? I'm changing my fucking score. I'm bumping up four point four. Well, we've been rambling about. I really this enjoy beer. this. I enjoy it. The more I think about good. it, I enjoy it. The the more, yeah. It's, it's pretty good beer. You drink it in like a. I'm getting. God damn, now when I'm saying it, this is like Focal Banger 2.0 or Heady Topper. Okay. Mm. Delicious. And that it's makes sense beer. because you told you Solid said beer. Focal Banger or Heady Topper was amateur hour. Uh, yeah. So, description down below we have untapped Instagrams, Twitters, all the good stuff. We really look forward to interacting with you. So please give us a shout out on there. Just, you know, look us up, follow us, feel free to comment, whatever. Let's strike yeah, it Let's up. know what you're thinking. You know, did you hate uh, this video? Did you like this video? Keep did it on the like channel. We're going to put up some live stream stuff. We'll, you know, we want to interact with the crowd, interact with the fans. Um, yeah, no, this has been fun. Uh, I'm really glad that. <laughs> Yeah. I was able to stop down to Prison <laughs> City and uh, pick some of this up to yeah. try We're out. We're having with... too much fun. Yeah, yeah. Too much too fun. Too much Too fun. much pops before this beer review, and this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We appreciate Bye. it. See ya.